Mickey. This is a very great it's day. It's a big day for us. Yeah, I'll keep it simple for today. We found the ultimate knife. My new favorite knife and it's everything I ever hoped for. And if that is all you want to know, this video ends here. But it all goes deeper with this knife. The NL5 in COS steel. It started off when we were kids. Martin got a knife as a gift from his stepfather that laid the foundation for this whole channel. It was a shit knife, but we loved it back then. Then when we started buying our first real knives, the Falkneven NL5 popped up and was an instant dream knife. I emphasize dream because it was way, way out of our league, especially the 1800 euro Curry X version. Nevertheless, I had saved up for a secondhand deal in secret and as many of you know I surprised Martin with the fact that I had bought this knife in secret but well, Mickey what knife are you gonna sharpen for us I think the Falk Neven NL5 man I finally had my dream knife the most beautiful knife I could have wished for. However, there was one downside. Fiji 10 steel. We were in love with Felgneven COS steel, but when we went to Sweden to visit them and asked Eric what he thought about the Felgneven NL5 in COS, he said the following wise words. Uh. Literally! <laughs> that is, this is literally what Eric from Felgneven did to me, yeah? <laughs> and the conversation was ended. Yeah, it was like... Yeah, a very um, direct way of saying, no, this is not going to happen. No, and we're going to do exactly <laughs> the hell what we want. But I know, <laughs> yeah. over the past years, we have been begging them. Well, yeah. hopefully forcing them a little bit. And actually, for our own sake, because we... This is, this is a dream knife. This is what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the day has come, Martin. Yeah, Mickey, they made... Pelk even actually made, I think, limited to 400 pieces right now. They made... This NL5 in COS, and we bought 10% of that because we bought four. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna miss out. All right, what are the other two? For the giveaways. Oh! oh so there's great. one in the giveaway this month. This video is sponsored by the amazing Tools for Gents, yo, yeah. This video is sponsored by Tools for Gents for the real gentleman. Oh shit, I thought you were gonna drop the hammer. <laughs> I really hope that they actually have a good convex on this. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it looks really good. Yeah, oh yeah, Oh, it yeah, looks yeah. really good. All the phone events are hand sharpened because it, it's hand. convex. It was confirmed by, I know a guy who went to the, who checked out like the factory who makes them and they said that they're hand sharpened. Gosh darn it. Martin. Oh. Ooh, Mickey, are we gonna in this video also make the handle beautiful? Yeah, let, let's do it. Okay. At least a one. So there oh, are a few man. things that we always do with these knives. Look. Look at the difference. We like to make our handles dark with oil yeah. and stuff. And that could you could do that by just using it for 10 years. But we're gonna do it fast. Oh, Martin. Oh yeah, Mickey, I'm oh, happy. I'm so happy that we find it. it. The day has finally come. Factory sharpness. Everything under 150, I'm gonna consider good. 107, Whoa. and that is a very good and very sharp knife. That is That's really gonna good. be like an eight and a half, maybe nine out of 10. Yeah, yeah. That is really yeah. good. Yeah, that one I sharpened myself. How sharp is that one? 77, so much. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Martin, you always got one balls. VG10. Flawless. So first I had sharpened the knife to cut some rope and make it dull again. But something very strange happened today. VG10 performed way better than it had ever done. This is how VG10 performed a few years ago when we did two and a half cuts with this exact knife. Okay, two and a half cuts, yeah? Let's try paper. I am. Yeah. Really, it's not good. Okay. After two and a half cuts, this one is already dull, duller. Then this one after four or five cuts. The other knife I'm holding there is actually a Falkneven F1D in COS steel. But anyway, this is how the VG10 steel performed after five cuts today. Five cuts total. Which one is this? Uh, VG10. <laughs> wow. 
What? Okay, okay. Oh shit, that is sharp. Yeah, that is sharp. I mean, it has got edge problems. I mean, we shouldn't forget that five cuts is a lot and that this is not a super steel. It is just no, better than VG10. Five cuts is what we do with GPM 3V. Somehow, VG10 has just done a really good job in this stuff. Yeah. But I have to say, the, the wind goes to us. CUS is sharper, but let's test it out on the sharpness scale to be okay. more scientific. Uh, this is VG10. Hundred and sixty-two. Still really good. And uh, my own sharpened COS. Whoa, that is still so really 122. sharp. One hundred and twenty-two. Yeah, it is sharper than. I mean, this out of the box now would be considered good. Yeah. And this would be considered but great. Can I say both impressed me today? Yeah. The most important thing: the COS performs as all the other COS knives yeah. I've done in the past. And don't forget, mm. this is not a super steel. This is yeah. just a really, really, really good ingot steel, which we love. So I'm gonna show you real time. Something that we really love about both these steels is that they are really easy so to get back to sharpness. COS, stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's Perfect. incredible, that's incredible. Yeah, and that's what I love about, and the same goes for uh, VG10. But look. Yeah. Now, you see that the VG10 has more little chips yeah, in it, uh, yeah. which the C, which the COS yeah. absolutely does not have. And that's and where the, the extra, what is it, cobalt comes in, Mickey. I think it helps uh, like with the microstructure of the blade. The second thing we always do when a new NL5 is purchased is oil the handle. We do this with the DPK Royal Dutch Leather Proofer. Yeah, because we want to scam you guys and make you buy all stuff. You take the hair dryer, warm up the handle and then put the leather proofer on. Use the hair dryer again to make the handle soak it all up and repeat this for a long, long time. And eventually the handle will be dark, beautiful and a lot more water resistant, which is also important. It's also important. Now you gotta know that this steel is normally used in kitchen knives. And if you hit a kitchen knife on a piece of wood like this, it's gonna shatter. So that's why this knife is layered and sandwiched in between two pieces of softer steel. Yeah. Which makes this possible. This is a piece of dried oak, which is the hardest wood we can get in this forest. And surprisingly, this knife is a very good batoner because of its true convex. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't baton full force with this knife. Or maybe I would with this knife. I've never seen the tang though. Yeah, you have. And the tang is actually quite big. It is not a red tang, it is a thick tang that goes in here. It's which almost a concealed full tang. Yeah, but... Still, it is not a tang as you normally yeah. have, so be aware of that. Surprisingly, it can baton very well. This is a piece of hard oak! Boom. Yeah. That's what you do, you can do it, Martin! <laughs> it does, it does it! Yeah, 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 it does it. Destruction test! <laughs> no. Now the thing the Falcon even NL5 can do best. Feather sticking and let's go. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, Martin, and it is a dream. <laughs> it is a dream. The factory edge. But you know what, Martin? I'm going to give this knife. Although it's with my own edge, a nine out of ten for feather Whoa. sticking. Yeah, Martin, a nine. Out factory of ten. edge. And the factory edge actually is also good, but it is not as nice for feather sticking as the edge we gave it. But what would you give the the the, the factory edge? 
Seven and a half. Can I try? Yeah, that will be my lowest. Okay. I can't give it an eight, Martin. Okay. I cannot do it. What would you give it for batoning for a nicer size? Martin, for a knife this size? It's one of the best batoners we have because. But people are gonna ask, but I didn't see the wood flying in all directions, like in some of the other videos. Yeah, but this wood isn't as dry as the wood we have in our other yeah. videos. But an eight and a half. Okay. Yeah, but but I, I have to say, because it is not like a full tang as yeah, the yeah. F1X, for instance, you cannot really give it too high. But no. for the size, I'm gonna give it it's, an eight and a half because just the, the the shape and the geometry is perfect for batoning. There are so much other good things about this knife, but it is a Typical kind of convex, it's different than the Bark River convex, but this convex actually makes it slice really, really nice. It's a, it's like a, not a too exaggerated convex. No! Whoa! Look at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that the factory edge? That's the factory edge. Holy shit, that is easy. It's crazy, isn't it? It's a it? beaver, Mickey. But it doesn't stop there. Because it is as if they designed something for us. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. Because yeah. It's just the handle is beautiful, the knife, the shape, everything. But the way this scrapes a fire steel. Jeez Louise. Oh. That is not normal. <laughs> Martin, <and> it, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't I don't think folks even actually designs this to be really good at fire steel scraping, but it is it is stupid, isn't it? What would you rate it? Wait, let's do it at the same time. Three, two, one, nine, nine out of ten. ten. Martin, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's what I thought. The VT10 version, the spine is less sharp, significantly less sharp. So that is also another reason. Eric, did you make this knife for us? <laughs> I don't know. No, you're a mom. Shut up. Me has to clean. Didn't even film that. <laughs> but that was like two scrapes. Martin, this is just insane. Martin, this was insane. Now just put everything on it like this. And put anything on it like this. Yeah, it is. Okay, listen, yeah? Uh, Godverdomme. I saw this uh, video of Lalo, how he supposedly made tacos, yeah. And I know, I know, I'm not gonna make it exactly that way, so I looked up some uh, recipes to make some traditional tacos. And for all the Mexicans and Americans watching, this is gonna be the European white boy version of a taco, <laughs> but with da, 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 600 grams of ribeye. Whoa. Yeah. Top-notch ribeye, Martha. Trust me, this is gonna be lovely. But it is gonna be the European white boy version of a taco. Because here in Europe, we haven't got as much Mexicans as you have in America. Yeah. Which make delicious tacos. So even after dulling the knife, hitting wood, Feather sticking, fire making, hitting the ground by accident. This still just cuts through tomatoes like it's nothing, and I love it. I'm 
Is it real good? Mm. Mickey, the convex, what would you give it for food prepping? Obviously, it's not made for food prepping. It's gonna, that's kind of the concession you make, food yeah. prepping. The, the reason it batons wood well is also the reason that it doesn't slice onion that well. Yeah, exactly. Look. And this is what we call a plug here. We've got our soft tacos here. Normally, you can put the cheese on there and have some molten cheese on it on the fire. I'm very lazy, so I'm going to put this in the microwave, Martin. On a molten cheese taco, we put a little bit of ribeye, a little bit of tomato on there, some onions, a lot of coriander. Quite a lot, okay. Wait. Salsa. And yes, there are more herbs required normally for this. Oh wait, salsa's difficult with a fork. This was uh, the best salsa I could find in my supermarket, which is Again, white bar Europe salsa. Marta, I'm gonna give the first bite to you. Oh, whoa. Is that good? Mm. Is that good? Yeah. Oh. I like it a whole <laughs> lot, dude. <laughs> mm. Gosh darn it, I love it. Well, Mickey. Thank you. Okay, we didn't say that. I was exactly thinking of giving this an 8 out of 10. Yeah, right? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's really good also with the cheese. Mmm. Wow. Oh, it is. Mickey actually cooked for me. What a day. This knife. What a day. It's just stupidly amazing, Mark. This knife is life. We've, also, we've got so much things to say, but the most important one is the giveaway. We're actually giving away the Falcon Even NL5 COS, thanks to DBK. We are giving away the just released TRC This Is Freedom in Convex, thanks to Tools for Gents. We are giving away a Becker BK72, thanks to Knives and Tools. We are giving away not one, but two MKM Maximos and LMAX. We are giving away a Spider Go Paramilitary 3 in Sprint Run, Rex45, thanks to Lamnia, and a Super Ladder Cannibal, thanks to Puga. Whoa. I'm just astonished how amazingly good this knife is. The Falcon Even NL5 VG10 was already my, maybe my favorite knife. But the steel has just got better. It's got my favorite Falcon Even steel yeah, in it. And Mickey, you know what? We just checked the prices. Maybe it's one of the, the biggest downsides of the knife. It's expensive. But compared to the original, it's not a big price increase, Mickey. Listen, I would say for $450 or $430, something like that. Yeah, 430 so this $40 and difference, you get, a, yeah, you get a really big upgraded steel. And yeah. so all of a sudden, I find the price kind of yeah, okay for the knife. For us, this is just the most sexy knife yeah. known to mankind. It is unbelievable. So and Mine is very dirty already. My girlfriend instantly, without knowing any knife in my knife collection, grabbed out the NL5 when she first saw it and said, oh, this is your most beautiful knife. I was like, Whoa. I know, because I also agree with that. <laughs> you know, we, we love super steels. COS yeah. is not a super steel, but COS is so well balanced. It gets crazy sharp. It's easy to sharpen. It holds a decent edge. And for stainless, it's also tough enough. This is my favorite sheath. Yeah, the yes. only downside to sheath, no fire steel loop. No, there is no fire steel loop indeed, but it, it, it's just such, such a cute, complete package which yeah. you have you on your belt and it looks cool. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but yeah. I'm just in love with this <laughs> knife. I so yeah, this, we might have been a little bit biased in this video because- Maybe this is my new favorite knife. Bro, Ma he maybe. Said he said it. Maybe. He said it. Maybe. He said it. He said it again. Still about the maybe, but. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Watch us every Thursday, 1 p.m. PDT. Like and subscribe. Oh. Leave a comment on what you think um, and what knife you think looks better than this knife. What yeah. knife do you think looks better than this knife? Well, I'm back to, well, 
Yeah. I bet you there's hey. no one. Also, we have a Discord. Check it out.